let's talk about Dex, my favorite place in the house. Well, I guess outside of the house. A couple years ago, Lauren and I decided we wanted a deck, but we didn't want to spend the money to have one built. So we built it ourselves. It was a huge undertaking, but it was well worth it. It was one of our favorite places to go in the summer. The kids enjoyed it. Family enjoyed it. We loved having people over and just sitting around. It was so worth the build. But one of the things that we had to take into consideration when we were putting the finished touches on was the railing. We have young kids and not having a railing was not an option. The deck was about six feet off the ground and we needed something to keep our kids safe. And all the people coming to our house that we entertain, we need to keep their kids safe as well. Because this was our first deck build, we were trying to play by the rules. The township had a very close eye on us because we weren't using a contractor. After figuring out how big we wanted it, getting the plans and the dimensions was all easy. The hardest part was figuring out what kind of railing we wanted. There are certainly a lot of designs out there to choose from. My first choice as a DIYer would be this cable railing system. It looks sleek, looks easy to build, it's fairly inexpensive and gives you maximum visibility. Much to my dismay, I found out that it was a building code violation in my township. Here's why. Most local building codes require that you have no more than a four inch gap between balusters. This is a pretty tight space, but it still allows for visibility between spindles. It also serves as a safety measure to prevent kids from getting stuck or from squeezing through the balusters. And here's something else to think about. Our township would not allow us to have horizontal cable rail. The first couple inspectors that I talked to gave me a very vague reason why this was a rule. After prying a little bit more, I learned that this was a new rule that they were trying to get passed as an ordinance. The reasoning behind it was because they felt that vertical balusters were much safer. Collectively, they believed that horizontal balusters invited kids to climb almost like a ladder. And I tend to agree with them. I don't know what the ordinance is in your neck of the woods, but think about this. There are plenty of options out there for railing systems that are safe and won't make you compromise on style. I think most people would agree, you don't want your favorite spot at your house to turn into a danger zone for anybody you invite over. So keep this in mind when you're building your deck. There are options out there, look them all over. And don't forget, check your local building code. The last thing you wanna do is install a railing that you're gonna to have to change at inspection.